tonight, I saw Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Glen Gary, Glen Ross focuses on the early 1980s real estate market. We're focused on a group who is cutthroat. They're doing everything they can to be at the top, get to the top, or stay at the top. It takes place in, in a day and a, and a night of, uh, and a morning, <laughs> so maybe a whole day in, in all, of, um, of a sleazy real estate agency who basically sells swampland in Florida <laughs> to cold calls. There's a contest going on. Um, the top salesman's gonna win a Cadillac. The second salesman's gonna win, uh, I guess, a set of knives. And the, third, and the third, third salesman's gonna get fired. It's not nice. It's actually, it's not nice at all. Al Pacino plays Shelley Levine. Personally, I was not very impressed by Al Pacino's performance. I felt at times that it looked like he was forgetting his lines. There was a very fine line between characterization and awkwardness and I think he slightly went over that edge. I thought his performance was amazing. It wasn't the, it wasn't the performance I was expecting um, because it's kind of quirky. He was very airy with his movements, his, um, his eyes, his hands, his body. I mean everything went into what he was saying and th these quirky things, I, I liked it. I just thought it was um, a good character. Bobby Cannavale played Richard Roma, who was the hot shot, uh, very slick, well dressed. I thought he was amazing. <laughs> I thought I, 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 he just dominated the stage. I love Bobby Cannavale. I saw him. I've seen him before on stage. He's awesome, and he did not disappoint tonight either. His language was smooth. His presentation was smooth. It was believable, and it was very enjoyable to watch. John C. McGinley plays Dave Moss, and he also was. Phenomenal. I was extremely impressed by John C. McGinley's performance. He's high energy, he's, his, you see the veins popping out of his head. He's really into the role and, and it showed by the audience's response during Curtain Call. I am a fan of the theater and I've been coming pretty regularly for the last 15 years. And I, this is the type of show that I walk out of and say, this is why I go to the theater. Every actor was fantastic. I think the writing was fantastic. Uh, I definitely think it belongs on Broadway. Uh, just for the cast itself, you know, you're just starstruck when you're watching this. It has a relevant theme for today. It's a commentary on the workforce and what's going on in, you know, any industry. This happens to be real estate, but it could be any industry. I liked the show, but I didn't love it. I was hoping to enjoy it a lot more. I felt there were many moments where the performances were great, but I don't think it was a complete wonderful piece. And I think that's when I left the show, I said I enjoyed these moments, but I didn't enjoy the piece as a whole. I will tell my friends to come see this play. I saw it as just a really entertaining evening at the theater. I feel that the playwriting, David Mamet's uh, script writing, I don't know if it's everybody's cup of tea. I don't know if everybody appreciates that style. But if, if you want to see a, a good ensemble cast, it's a show to see. I will tell my friends to go see this show, and I definitely recommend it. Fabulous.